At ZEM Research Center for Molecular Medicine of the Austrian Academy of Sciences, researchers from Andreas Bergthaler's lab have discovered why influenza virus infections often result in severe bacterial infections of the lung. Their study, published in November 2014 in the journal Nature Immunology, shows the molecular mechanism behind this. Interestingly, the majority of severe influenza-related infections are not caused directly by the virus. Instead, it's rather the virus infection which facilitates a bacterial infection, a so-called superinfection. And as of now, it has remained a puzzle how the virus predisposes to these bacterial superinfections. So initially we studied the changes in gene expression upon influenza virus infection. And these experiments, they led to the discovery of an enzyme called CTB2 that seems to be really important for the development of influenza virus induced susceptibility to bacterial superinfections. During an infection, there are several molecular steps necessary for an effective immune response. In a healthy person, lung invading bacteria will be recognized by sensors of the immune system. These sensors trigger the production of antibacterial molecules like CXL1, which then attract specialized immune cells to the lung, which are able to kill the bacterial pathogens and to resolve the infection. In the case of a superinfection, however, the lung is initially infected by the influenza virus. The immune system recognizes the virus and starts producing the antiviral molecule interferon. In our study, we could demonstrate that interferon induces the enzyme ZDB2. Further, we found that ZDB2 blocks the expression of antibacterial genes such as CXL1. And as a consequence, less immune cells are recruited to the lung in superinfection, which ultimately causes the uncontrolled growth of bacteria as well as severe pneumonia. The World Health Organization estimates that there are approximately 500,000 deaths per year associated with influenza virus and the subsequent bacterial infections. Therefore, the team was also supported by Sylvia Knapp, clinician and scientist who studies the pathogenesis of bacterial infections in the lung. Bacterial pneumonia is one of the most frequent and most dangerous um, infections in the clinic. And what we know is that some patients develop a very strong inflammatory response within their lungs. This leads to lung failure, and these patients would not survive without intensive care medicine. And what we also know is that many of these patients have an underlying influenza infection and then get on top a bacterial superinfection. And this combination then leads to this strong inflammatory response, which is very difficult to treat. In the future, we plan to study the molecular details of how ZTP2 interferes with the antibacterial immune response. And our research on the long run might lead to the development of new strategies to strengthen the immune system in patients at risk of superinfections. This study is the result of an international collaboration between researchers at ZEM, Research Center for Molecular Medicine of the Austrian Academy of Sciences, the Medical University of Vienna, as well as research groups in the USA and Switzerland, and has been published in the journal Nature Immunology in November 2014.